Hi everyone, welcome to Allied Vision Answers. Today, we're gonna to talk about a key question, camera resolution. Is higher resolution always better? Well, today, I'm gonna to talk to Scott Smith, the Director of Technical Services at the U.S. office in Newburyport, Massachusetts. Hi, Scott. Hi, Francis, nice to see you. Scott. Why is resolution important when selecting your camera? Uh, well, Francis, uh, there are several reasons, but basically uh, this gives us a sense of the number of picture elements or pixels that make up the overall image. And that determines the level of detail that can be resolved in, in the final image. So should I always go for the highest resolution? Well, it would seem that way if the goal was to get a, a pretty picture or a pretty movie or a television show for the human eye. But most of our customers aren't looking to produce television programs or movies. Rather, they're looking to solve engineering problems such as um, quality control inspection problems in industry or medical applications, for example, or research applications. And for many of those applications, it's about a machine vision calculation of an image in order to make some decision. And in those cases, the, it's not always the case that more detail is better. Why is that? Well, there are several reasons. Uh, the, the three that come to mind for me are cost, speed, and quality. To the point of cost, Generally speaking, the more pixels, the higher the resolution, the higher the cost. And uh, whether you're buying one camera or hundreds of cameras, um, you might as well spend only as much money as you need to solve your problem. So if a lower resolution sensor solves the engineering problem, why spend more? So that was the cost point. Now if we want to speak to speed, realize also that the more pixels you have, the more megapixels of data need to be transmitted from the camera over the cable to the host PC and this has an impact on the consumption of bandwidth and hence on the number of frames per second that can be transmitted. So if you need to have a higher number of frames per second then having a lower resolution image with less data can lead to a more successful high frame rate application. The third point is that uh, for solving the particular engineering problem, um, the quality of the image for the engineering problem may be better at low resolution. How can low resolution have a better image quality? Well, it seems sort of counterintuitive, but uh, consider this example I brought with me. A few years ago, there was a famous novel that was then turned into a movie uh, called The Girl with the Pearl Earring. And while the original painting, of course, had a lot of detail in it, and is quite a famous painting, in fact, in this particular image here, it's a pixelated view with a coarse resolution or low resolution sensor. But suppose that you had some application, uh, perhaps an industrial application or a quality control application, where all you wanted to do was count uh, the number, the, the, the surface area of an object that had certain color tones in it. So this particular image has a lot of some blues, some whites, uh, quite a lot of brown or orange. And uh, this low resolution image would allow me to transmit a very small amount of data in terms of megapixels from the camera to the host computer and then do a very fast calculation in terms of counting just the few hundred pixels that we have here instead of thousands or tens of thousands and I could solve the engineering problem at hand at a lower cost and at a faster speed. Thank you, Scott. My pleasure, I enjoyed speaking with you, Francis. I really learned something today, and I hope you learned something too. Thank you very much for watching this video. You can always send your questions to alliedvision.com forward slash answers. Until next time.